A proficient artist knows that when drawing figures in perspective, it is better to portray cross contours rather than outlines of the figure. Cross contours can reveal the depth and angle of the body when outlines are often misleading and do not fully describe the figure's pose or the position of its parts. When rendering tonal values, you need to keep in mind that no change in tone is accidental, but depends on the body's anatomy and skeletal construction beneath the skin. Every muscle has its volume and shape that defines planes of the figure on the surface. Such planes have different angles towards the light and therefore different tonal values. Needless to say, only by knowing human anatomy will you be able to do so. Some of the best examples of such anatomical drawing are left by one of the best artists who ever lived, Michelangelo. You can search the internet for high-resolution pictures of his drawings and analyze them. You will find that observation alone would not be enough to make such drawings. He spent considerable time and effort learning human anatomy, which enabled him to create his masterpieces. To make a drawing more interesting and convincing, an artist sometimes renders tonal values not as they appear on the model, but describes in tones what one knows about the anatomy of those parts. This comes back to the statement that a proficient artist draws not what one sees, but what one knows. This is very apparent when you examine of Michelangelo's life drawing. For example, in this drawing, I purposefully exaggerated the tonal values of some borders between planes, and I render in lighter tones areas that do not contribute information about the body structure. Although it is not exactly how tonal values are seen on the model, this draws the viewer's attention to places that describe models' shapes more vividly. You can learn such an approach from the old masters such as Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, Rubens, and many others. We do not see what we do not know. That is why you have to draw from knowledge rather than copy from life without understanding why tonal values are different. This way, you will train your eyes to spot such tonal gradations. You may notice that the knee is one of the least explained areas in a majority of amateur life drawings. This is because of lack of understanding of the knee joint anatomy and construction. To help you overcome this issue, we created a video lesson in the Life Drawing class that is dedicated to drawing the knee with the full understanding of what lies beneath the surface. You can see that the model's right knee has higher contrast and deeper tones than the rest of the body and therefore takes a visually prominent place in the foreground. This is how aerial perspective works. Aerial perspective is not obvious when you observe a model. Nevertheless, we do not draw from observation, but from knowledge. If you feel that your knowledge of anatomy could be improved, check out the Anatomy Masterclass, where you can learn fast anatomy for artists in the comfort of your home. You might have seen some videos on YouTube where tonal drawing in graphite pencil starts from one corner of an artwork and tones are rendered inch by inch in full strength from the first attempt. Don't pick up this bad habit. This is an amateur way of shading and should not be used, especially in life drawing. Such rendering might be applicable when making a handmade carbon copy of a photograph Copying photos has nothing to do with life drawing, and erroneous methods of rendering won't help you develop good life drawing skills. Here's another tip for life drawing. If you render with the same intensity the whole plane from the beginning to the end, you will flatten the piece and make it dull. It is better to pay some attention to shading the beginning of the area and then gradually easing out rendering to the middle of the plane. It doesn't mean you should ignore the middle, just don't overdo it. This creates an illusion of perspective. Such a method is also appropriate for linear drawing. You can stress in bolder lines the beginning of a shape and ease the pressure on the pencil as you draw lines that are farther away. The same works for details. Those parts of the body that are closer to the viewer should be depicted with more attention to details. 
Big-scale drawing often scares contemporary artists who are used to drawing from photographs. Even those artists who do large artworks often trace figures or portraits outlines using projectors. While there's nothing wrong in using photo equipment in such cases, an artist must know a human body's proportions and rules of perspective that apply to figurative art to avoid the distortions that photographs have. Such large formats are actually very interesting to draw. You can easily go into details that would be too challenging to depict otherwise. Also, classical one or two point perspective would not work well in this case. The old masters knew this very well and were drawing foreshortened figures using orthogonal or parallel perspective. They depicted foreshortening of lengths while keeping proportions of width intact. For example, in his painting, Mantagna portrayed the figure of Christ in parallel perspective, where sides of the body are parallel to each other, yet the support is depicted in one-point perspective that gives a clearer picture of the spatial relationship and a realistic view. Great artists like Raphael and Michelangelo also used the orthographic view. Somehow this know-how was lost during last 500 years, and contemporary art books are full of grotesque figures in perspective. Here's an example from one well-respected author who teaches drawing figures using common one-point perspective. You can see why such an approach is erroneous when comparing the two figures in green and red to each other. One has very small head and exaggerated legs, while the other has a huge upper body. So, instead of drawing what an artist sees, he or she must draw what one knows. The knowledge of human body proportions is very important here. Foreshortened figures cannot be drawn simply by measuring the relative sizes of a body. Seen in perspective, those parts of a figure would give a false sense of proportions. For example, in our case, the model's head is farther than his legs from the viewer, and measuring with a pencil the relative proportions of such parts would result in mistakes. Always have some creative task in mind. Life drawing could be done just for the sake of practicing, but in many cases, artists have a very specific purpose for such exercises. For example, you can do life drawing with the aim of finding an interesting pose for your composition, or to study anatomy, or to study individual features of a portrait, and so on. There are many extant life drawings from the old masters that feature torsos without heads or some limbs, or even smaller parts like hands and fingers. Whatever the task, it is better to learn from nature, making fast sketches and long studies of whatever you need for your figurative artworks. For students like you, we created the Life Drawing Academy, so you could learn, without leaving your home, from talented artists and art teachers who went through Russian art education system themselves and teach art in the best academies of the world. Here is what you will get in the Life Drawing Academy online course. For a one-time payment, you will get a lifetime access to the 52 life drawing video lessons, which include more than 70 video parts and have total playback time of more than 20 hours. You can watch those videos as many times as you want. They are available online 24-7, and you can watch lessons on any internet-connected device. You will get detailed tutorials on proportions and construction of a human head and body. In multiple video lessons, you will see the various proportions of a human body, head, and face. You will discover various classical canons of proportions and detailed instructions on how to use them in drawing. You will learn how to draw realistic portraits and figures step by step with the necessary knowledge of anatomy. As a Life Drawing Academy student, you can rely on unlimited personal support from Academy tutors. Such support includes Artworks critiques, answers to your art-related questions, advice on how to improve your life drawing skills. Our personal support is provided for a lifetime and comes at no extra charge. No other art college or university will ever offer you the same deal. Every video lesson of the Life Drawing Academy self-education course 
gives more information about classical figurative drawing than students get during four years at a contemporary art college. After watching 52 lessons, you will know at least 52 times more about life drawing than an average art college graduate. The real value of the Life Drawing Academy course for 52 lessons, plus personal support, which is priceless, is $99 per every video lesson, which is $5,148. However, you can enroll today at a heavily discounted price of only $297 US dollars. If you want to receive personal tutoring from the Academy teachers, you can apply for the Life Drawing Academy Correspondence Course. This is a great value, optional extra. Life Drawing Academy is your unique chance to learn from accomplished fine artists and art teachers, Alexander Rishkin, Vladimir London, and Natalie Ricci who can personally teach you strong drawing skills step by step. All three teachers have exceptional art education and spent many years practicing and teaching art. The drawing techniques and methods we teach are the same as students learn in the best art academies in Moscow and St. Petersburg. Here is what you will get. In addition to all the benefits of the Life Drawing Academy online course, you will receive one-on-one -on -one personal guidance from Academy tutors who will teach you traditional drawing skills and 100 drawing tasks. Every task will have in-depth instructions, including several discussions, critiques, and pieces of advice on improvement. The value of such tasks is $99 each, which is $9,900 in total. However, for a limited number of students, we offer this course for only $997. When the places are filled, we will suspend enrollment or put the price to its real value. This is your unique chance to get unlimited personal tutoring at a tiny fraction of what it really costs. Don't miss your once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Enroll now!